All right, going over problem one from the 2018 AP Calculus exam, we have that grain is being added to a silo and at time t equals zero, the silo is empty. So it says the rate at which grain is being added is modeled by the differentiable function g, where g of t is measured in cubic feet per minute for t between zero and eight minutes. And here are some selected values of g of t given in this table. So part A, um, it says approximate g prime of three using correct units, interpret the meaning of g prime of three in the context of the problem. <clears throat> All right, so um, let's remember that this is a calculator allowed problem. So make sure you always try to like look where you can save your like time and like save, you know, tedious calculations because they're really not looking for tedious calculations. They're looking for conceptual understanding. So have your calculator always handy you know, so that you can use it and save time. All right, so then g prime of three is just basically asking for the derivative at three for g of t. So g prime of three would be equal to the derivative at three, except we're not just given the equation for g of t. So because of that, then we have to remember what the derivative um, like equation or what it, like the, what it means in general. And that's that it's the rate of change. It's the rate of change at this particular time. Now, since three is between one and five, we're essentially just gonna use those to calculate or get an approximation of g prime of three. So we're gonna take g of five minus g of one over five minus one. And since it's an approximation, let's use an approximate symbol there. And then we'll get 20.5 minus 15.1 over four, <clears throat> which will be 4.4 over four, or not four, 5.4 over four using our calculator we'll get 1.35. Okay, so what's, well, like, what does this mean? Well, let's remember that G of T is already telling you the rate at which green is being added. added. So then G prime of three, we're basically talking about the rate of the rate or the rate at which the rate of green is being added at T equals three minutes is 1.35 um, cubic feet per minute squared in this case. So let's write that down. All right, and there we go. Right, part B, write an integral expression that represents a total amount of grain added to the silo from t equals zero to time t equals eight. Use a right Riemann sum, with the four subintervals in indicated by the table to approximate the integral. Okay, so um, remember a Riemann sum is just, you're essentially approximating something with rectangles. Now, if it's a right Riemann sum, you're going to use the right endpoint of the function. So we're, ha we're having four subintervals. The subintervals are the lengths from zero to one, which is one. From one to four, five is four. Five to six is one. And six to eight is two. So then these are like the, these are essentially the widths of the rectangles. The heights are, are 
are either going to be the the twelve point eight. Well, the heights are these. Now, since this is right, we know to use the one on the right of the first of each rectangle. So for the first rectangle, it would be fifteen point one. The second one would be the twenty point five, the eighteen point three, and the twenty two point seven. If it said left, we would use the twelve point eight up to the eighteen point three. So essentially, we just set up an integral like this. From zero to eight. And we were gonna say that this is approximately equal to one times 15.1 plus four times 20.5 plus one times 18.3 plus two times 22.7. Again, using your calculator to do this, you'll get 160.8 for that one. All right, so then, oh, oops. Are right, you going to part C? We have that the grain in the silo is spoiling at a rate modeled by W of T equal to 32 times the square root of sine of pi T over 74. Where W of T is measured in cubic feet per minute for T equals for T between zero and eight minutes. Using the result from part B, approximate the approximate, approximate amount of unspoiled grain remaining in the silo at time t equals eight. Okay, so um, the idea here is to um, recognize that since this is telling you the rate of grain, that the, the rate at which the grain is spoiling, if we were to take the integral of like the total amount of grain added, and then from that, subtract the total amount of grain spoiling, that's gonna give you the total amount of grain that's gonna be unspoiled. So in part B, we already found that, let's see. Part B, we found that there was 160.8 um, cubic feet of grain um, that was being added from this you know, from zero, from zero to eight minutes. So we're gonna take this amount and subtract the integral of this. So we're gonna get 160.8 minus integral from zero to eight of W of T dt. Now for this, um, again, use your calculator to calculate this. And make sure you practice a lot with it because um, depending on your calculator, the way you, you know, enter it and, and use, you know, the way it's, the way it, it basically is gonna display all this display, like where to go to integrals and all that. It's gonna be different for every calculator. I'm using the Inspire. Um, but um, I also can tell my students to have one that's quick for punching in, like the one that's quick for punching in like numerical calculations, because the Inspire thing about this, these buttons are kind of hard to, they're not quick, they're, they're, they're kind of like stiff. Um, so let me just show you another one. That one's still loading. I even have another. In this one, you can just go to the um, menu. Again, the calculus, numerical integral, zero to eight. Thirty-two times square root of the sine. Of pi t 
2 over 75. We're about 99.05. And subtracting those, we're going to end up with 61.74850348262 cubic feet, we'll say. All right, now in part D, based on the model in part C, the amount of unspoiled grain in the silo or is the amount of unspoiled grain in the silo increasing or decreasing at times equals six? Okay, um, so to understand like if it's increasing or decreasing, we wanna see if when we have the G of X or G of six, and from that, when we subtract W of six, We want to see what this value is because both of these give you these give you the rates. These get this gives the this gives g of g of six gives you the rate um, at t equals six that it's being added, and w of six gives you the rate that it's being spoiled at at t equals six. So if this ends up being positive, then that means the rate or the 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 amount of unspoiled grain is increasing. If this is negative, then it's going to be decreasing. So calculating this, 18.6. And then again, using your calculator, punching in the previous equation for six in there, we'll end up with 16.06, 317.325. Three, and you'll end up with about 2.23. Now, since this is positive, then we can say that um, then we can say that that it's increasing. And I think I wrote the wrong thing. I think it should be eighteen point. Yeah, look, looking back at the table, it's eighteen point three. Let me just fix that. Eighteen point three. In either case, it's still positive. So then um, since it's positive, then we can say that it's increasing. All right, so there you go, there's problem one. Um, feedback is always welcome. Let me know if maybe there was a part that was confusing or if I did something that wasn't very clear. Um, in the comments section, feel free to let me know. Um, and, and if I did a good job, also that, give me a like. If, and again, if these videos are helping you, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.